already our pastor has told you here that today, today is your day. Miracle, power, anointing, every yoke broken in your life in Jesus' name. And for all the people who are joining us over the internet, streaming, in every location, anywhere you are, you should position yourself as if you are the only one I am talking to. Whatever the mountain, whatever the sickness, and whatever the infirmity, long-standing problem, tonight you are free in Jesus' name. And for everyone here, all your tears are wiped away. All your yokes are broken. And if you are there, you are concerned for somebody. That person you are concerned for, whether the person is here or not, you are standing for them. Their mountains will move away. Every evil power will be destroyed in their lives in Jesus' name. Raise up your hand for your blessing. Father, we thank you tonight. I bless your name for every brother, every sister, every boy, every girl, everyone here. I thank you for all our invitees. I thank you for those who have brought great, great problems before you. Tonight, touch their lives. Tonight, move their mountains away. Tonight, break every yoke. And let there be miracle for everyone in Jesus' name. Let there be confirmation in every life tonight. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are blessed already. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 9, verse 29. Matthew chapter 9, verse 29. And he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. According to your faith, be it unto you. That sentence coming from the Lord Jesus Christ is a principle that God himself always acts on. Anyone who comes before him, no matter your background, no matter your problem, no matter your tears, no matter even your sin in the past, and no matter your failure in the past, as you come in the presence of the Lord, and you come with faith and with expectation, you will not be disappointed. It's a God of love. It's a God of mercy. And it's a God of power. And because of his love and mercy, he bases every blessing he gives you on the, on the fact that you come, you believe, and what you are believing for will be done. According to your faith, be it done unto thee. Look at Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. It says in verse 23, And Jesus said unto him, I remember Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if Jesus were to talk to you directly, physically tonight, this is what he will tell you. Remember again, no matter who you are, and no matter where you are coming from, and no matter the challenges you have in your life, if Jesus were to talk to you personally, physically, one-to-one, -one, this is what he will tell you. Verse 23, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. That's what the Lord is telling you tonight. Your problems will soon vanish away. Your mountain will still soon move. And all those challenges of your life that you have been wondering, how will this be done? How will that be done? Tonight is the night it will be done. 
he says if you can only believe believe all things are possible to him that believes i believe god tonight in your life all things are possible in your family all things are possible every challenge of your life all things are possible he will put laughter in your mouth joy in your heart look at luke chapter one luke chapter one verse 37 for with god nothing shall be impossible what load are you carrying what pain are you having what sickness do you have in your life tonight god has come to you personally and he has come to make all things possible in your life somebody shout amen, amen. and mary said behold the handmaid of the lord be it unto me be it unto me be it unto me according to thy word and it's unto you tonight according to the word you are hearing in jesus name tonight before we pray i want to talk to you on the great possibilities of faith in christ the great possibilities of faith in christ once you put your faith in christ there are great possibilities that moment that time you put that faith in christ you'll see all those mountains moving away all the walls of partition and the walls of disturbance in your life everything crumbling you will see satan fleeing away from your life and every sickness you will see will just be dissolving and going away the moment you put your faith in christ the great possibilities of faith in christ there are three things we're talking about tonight number one asking asking you will ask Notice this, everything you ask the Lord tonight is done. Yeah. Number two, appropriating. Appropriating. That means after you ask, then you stretch out your hand. What you claim, you are going to have. Because you can appropriate. Number three, acting. Acting. You will not just, you know, if you are down there, and you are immobile and you are stagnant and you are paralyzed and you are blind and you are incapacitated you will act out your faith you ask you appropriate you act and those three words will drive miracle into your life number one asking in prayer as a child asking in prayer as a child a child has just come into the world and he has not asked anything from the mother before and the mother ever said no and so she comes that little child comes with confidence and tonight as you ask forget about any failure in the past I prayed before forget about that I asked before, forget about that. I didn't get this before, forget about that. I was weak before, forget about that. Tonight is a new night. It's a new day. Asking in prayer as a child. Number two, appropriating the provision with confidence. Appropriating. Look at that. That is mine. Healing is mine tonight. Look at that. Strength is mine. Strength is mine tonight. Look at that. Provision is mine. Provision is mine tonight. Look at that. Miracle is mine. Miracle is mine tonight. It is confirmed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Appropriating the provision with confidence. Number three, acting like possessors and conquerors. Acting like possessors and conquerors. When you sing, because you sing after the message tonight, you will sing like I am a possessor. 
I am a conqueror. And when you walk, you walk with your shoulders up because tonight you are a possessor and a conqueror. And when, when you talk, you talk with confidence and assurance because tonight you are a possessor and a conqueror. I am a possessor. I said I'm a possessor and I am a conqueror. You have conquered already in Jesus' name. Number one, asking in prayer as a child. Asking in prayer as a child. While the message is going on, you might remember what you need to ask. You write it and judge it down. And then as we move on, there's something I didn't remember that before. Even though I've been waiting on the Lord from the morning, I remember now, jot that thing down. Everything you are asking tonight in prayer, the moment you open your mouth, the Lord will fill your mouth. In Matthew chapter 7, I'm reading from verse 7. Matthew chapter 7, and we're reading from verse 7. It says, ask and it shall be given you. Praise the Lord, there's no doubt. And praise the Lord, there's no unbelief. Praise the Lord, there is no uncertainty here. Ask, and it shall be given you. And it says, seek, and ye shall find. Seek, and ye shall find. You're finding it tonight. That thing you lost, you're finding tonight. And that child you lost, you're finding him tonight. And somebody that is run away from whom you've lost the person, you see the person tonight. It says, knock and it shall be opened unto you. The doors that were closed against you before, those doors are opened. My doors of opportunities are opened. I'll say it for yourself now. My doors of opportunities, they are open. And my doors of breakthrough, they are open tonight in Jesus' name. But say it.